Mighty T, I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the Caribbean Junior Monarch Competition to congratulate you for winning the St. Kitts and Nevis Teenage Junior Calypso Competition and thereby qualifying, automatically qualifying for the Caribbean Junior Monarch Competition in Barbados in August 2017. You will be representing your country at this competition and good luck, similar to how you perform in your competition here in St. Kitts. I wish you good luck in the Caribbean Junior Monarch Competition. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. The Caribbean Junior Monarch Competition is going to be the first of its time, of its kind. It's targeted at children between the ages of 13 and 19 years old. And the inaugural competition will be held in Barbados, August the 19th, 2017. But thereafter, we will move the competition out to different countries as a host country. So for 2017, it will be held in Barbados, but after that in 2018 and on, it will go to different Caribbean countries. So the possibility of it coming to St. Kitts and Nevis is also highly likely, whereby they will be the host of the Caribbean Junior Monarch Competition. Um, we will have a press launch in Barbados um, on Jan January 12, 2017 to speak to this um, competition. Um, the reason why we are doing it at this time here in St. Kitts is because St. Kitts competition actually comes first because we base it off of the Carnival Day which is in January. So St. Kitts is the first competition for the Caribbean Junior Monarch qualification. Now he will have qualified because he won the St. Kitts and Nevis um, Teenage Junior Calypso Monarch competition and we wish him well in his um, in this competition that's coming up and all the best. But I want to say that I'm very proud of my son for doing, uh, pulling off this competition. I wish him all the best in the Caribbean Junior competition. Instead of winning by six points, you need him to win by 16 in the Junior Cup. <laughs> in the Caribbean show. But I'm very proud of him, his second year singing and he did what I expected him to do. I'm very, very honored that this competition has come at the right time. You know, to give him a little more exposure and help him to carry on the tradition. As a father, it makes me feel very proud. I mean, I could remember my days. I think I was about just about the same age when I won my first round. Back then it was the Mr. Talented Teen and not the Junior Club, so it was Mr. Talented Teen. So he's, he's, he's right there in my footsteps. He has me under a little pressure right now because <laughs> tomorrow night I have a show that I have to step up to. But I'm willing, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm able to, we'll be able to do that. So two crowns on the road. <laughs> I want to thank my peer ones for pushing me and, and for believing in me. And I want to thank the Caribbean Junior organizers to, for putting on this show. Representing this country means a lot to me, and I do them proud. So to go into more detail on the Caribbean Junior Monarch Competition, we are actually in partnership with UNICEF, and all contestants, even if they win or not, will be given the title of UNICEF Youth Advocate. Um, this title will be a one-year title, and this would be after they have done workshops and stuff within the, um, the island of the competition if they host country and they will go back to their country to share this knowledge. So Mighty T will also have the title of UNICEF Youth Advocate when he comes back from the competition. Um, we will also have a total of five judges to judge the Caribbean Junior Monarch and this will be made up of one host judge and four Caribbean judges. Now, the judging, the, the selection of these judges will be done on June the 1st, 2017, and be broadcast live on our website. Um, the website will be up on January the 12th at the press launch, and this is CaribbeanJuniorMonarch.com. And we will do a selection of putting these names of judges from each country, one judge from each country in a bowl, a glass bowl, and it will be under the, the viewing 
are under the um, stewardship of uh, auditing company to ensure that the procedure is above board. And we will just select the names out of balls and those four judges, Caribbean judges, will join one host country judge to judge this Caribbean Junior Monarch competition. Right? Um, I want to say thank you to the Department of Culture, uh, um, also to the St. Kitts and Evis Carnival Committee for granting us this opportunity to have their juniors participate in the Caribbean Junior Monarch competition. We believe it's a way not only to bring back life within the Calypso Arena, um, it's also a way that we can develop the art from, from a young age and push it further and include more developmental programs as we go on within the future. Yeah, so thank you once again. Um, we look forward to, to hosting the show in August. And as I said before, good luck and God bless everyone.